Some of you might not agree with these tips, and that's fine. But if you're looking to grow on YouTube, you might want to consider doing some of these things. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I want to say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you want to get a shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. Let me preface these tips by saying these are going to not be for everyone. There's a reason these are controversial is because there's so many YouTubers out there and so many ways to be a YouTuber. I know these tips are not going to be everybody's cup of tea. They are just things that simply work for me. Controversial tip number one, script or outline your videos ahead of time. This tip is going to be more important for some channels than it is for others. For example, if I just showed up to film five YouTube videos today without a plan or a script of some sort, being in the educational niche, these videos would simply not be as helpful as they are. <laughs> I remember my first few YouTube videos doing that, sitting in front of the camera with only an idea of the topic I wanted to talk about, pressing record. Next thing you know, I have almost two hours of footage of me just like talking in circles, messing up, not knowing where the video's going. And uh, I'm sure you can imagine the nightmare of that editing process. If you've been around for a while, you already know that in my intro, I say, I value your time. And that goes beyond just starting the video right away. It goes into the scripting and making sure I'm only saying things that are of value or purposeful for the viewer. When I don't script, I not only waste my time and my editor's time, but I could also be wasting the viewer's time if the video doesn't deliver on the promise. I also like scripting because I'm able to plan my YouTube strategy a little bit more. For example, I always plan out when I reference another video to hopefully keep the viewer on my channel for longer like this. If you've always wanted to learn how to batch your YouTube videos, but you feel completely stuck when it comes to planning out your topics ahead of time, watch this video here where I teach you how I plan my videos out one year in advance so you can never run out of ideas. Now, if you're thinking, but Millie, I have a vlog channel. Why would I need to plan out my videos? It's like, it's just a vlog. Storytelling. Literally go to any of Casey Neistat's videos and while he's mastered the vlog style video, you can see that he thinks ahead about everything. His camera placement, the multiple angles for one shot, and granted, I'm sure it comes a lot more naturally since he's been doing it for years, but you can see that there is intention there behind every shot. Take an extra 30 minutes to an hour before you shoot and ask yourself, how can I make this more entertaining or exciting? Should I have a dope coffee montage in the beginning? Should I set up the camera first and then walk into the frame? Taking a little extra time to be intentional with your shots or creating a storyline will step your videos up to a whole other level. Is it a whole nother level or a whole other level? A whole other level, whole nother level, a whole nother level. I feel like I say a whole nother level, but nother, <laughs> I don't think nother's a word. Whole nother, a whole other. I don't know, let's just keep going. Before jumping into this second controversial tip, can I give you just like a regular YouTube tip? Like not controversial? Regular tip number one. <laughs> okay, have you ever tried to follow a link that somebody has like on their Instagram stories or in their bio? And instead of taking you to that link, they take you to a sign up page? Let me explain. For example, say I wanna link this YouTube video on my Instagram stories with a swipe up for you to watch. And instead of taking you directly to this YouTube video, YouTube says, sign in to watch the video. Come on, I know that's happened to some of you. That's happened to me. Honestly, one of my biggest pet peeves. Not only is this annoying, but it also hurts your conversions as a creator if you're linking people to pages that do that. Now, did you know that you can actually skip that part? You can avoid that now? Not kidding. I am so freaking stoked to tell you about this video sponsor, URL Genius, because they're a deep linking platform that lets you create links and open apps directly, which means you get to skip that sign-in page. Plus, they give you some great reporting insights about how many times the app has been opened. 
You don't have to install anything secretive or be a super tech expert. It's really simple to use and the first 500 clicks are free. After that, it's one cent per click or you could get a significant discount if you sign up for a monthly plan. And before you ask, no, it is not the type of link that tracks people around the internet. URL Genius uses a more modern privacy approach with their links. So never again will you have to send your followers to a sign-in page when you're using URL Genius. Be sure to check them out through the link in the description below. Controversial tip number two, use a teleprompter. A lot of people say not to use a teleprompter because they think it looks like too obvious. Well, let me ask you this. Is it too obvious that I'm using a teleprompter? Huh? Is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. There are a lot of different types of teleprompters out there and the one that I use goes directly over my camera lens so that I can read my script while making eye contact with the camera. You also get to adjust the size and the speed of the text to a setting that doesn't make it look too obvious you're reading. I use the Padcaster Parrot teleprompter, which I'll be sure to link below. Another reason people don't recommend using teleprompters is because they say that you're not able to be spontaneous. Well, I want to show you this really cool invention called a pause button. So what happens is while I'm talking, if something comes to mind or something comes up, I'm able to press it and be spontaneous, which does happen on occasion. Super magical. Now I will say that using a teleprompter is not for everyone. That's why this might be considered a controversial tip. But if you're somebody in a niche where most of your videos are talking head videos like this, then I definitely recommend trying it out and see how it feels. It takes some practice with your eyes getting used to the word scrolling, making sure you don't look like you're reading like this. <laughs> so while it might feel a little weird at first, I personally love it. Controversial tip number three, don't overcomplicate everything. Sometimes you just need to toss everything out the window. I know strategy is great and necessary. And if you want to talk strategy, you can watch this video here, how to grow your channel from zero subscribers. But we're not talking strategy here because I see so many people get caught up in the strategy of things. It actually stunts them from making moves. They get so caught up in researching or figuring it all out before they film. And it's like, just, just film, just film, please just film. I'm going to tell you a secret. Um, you're not going to have it all figured out before you record your first video or even your 10th video or even your 100th video. <laughs> you need to forget about what's right and what's wrong and just think, am I doing? Am I taking freaking action? Be willing to just figure it out as you go. Treat every video like a test and just press record. We want to see what you make. We want to see your videos. You deserve to have your voice heard. All right, if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you kick that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye. It's so far away. <laughs>